is half-life. Half-life is the time for half of the nuclei of a particular isotope to decay. We can measure this in three units. Mass, which is measured in grams, percentage, which we measure in percentage, and fractions. The half-life of an isotope is a constant. It is unaffected by any chemical or physical conditions. It does not change. Example 1. How many half-lives have occurred if after 9 hours, 6.25% of calcium-41 remains? So the unit we're working in this time is percentage. Our initial percentage is always 100%. If we take one half-life and half of 100 gives us 50%. If we undergo a second half-life, that will give us a remaining total of 25%. Third half-life would produce 12.5% and a fourth half-life would produce 6.25%. So the answer is four half-lives. Example two, the half-life of carbon-14 is 5,730 years. How old is a piece of leather found inside an Egyptian tomb if it was found to have carbon-14 content of 25%? of a sample of leather made today. So we know that we're working in percentage. The initial percentage is always going to be 100%. Half of 100%, that's one half life, is a total of 5,730 years, which would give us a remaining total of 50%. If this undergoes a second half life, that will give us a total of 11,460 years, which will give us our final percentage of 25%. So the answer is 11,460 years. This last example, the question asks, the half-life of carbon-14 is 5,730 years. What percentage of the carbon-14 would be found in a bone which was 22,920 years old compared to a bone from today? So we know that we're working in percentage and we have our initial percentage, which is 100%. If it undergoes one half life, that's a total of 5,730 years, which would give us 50%. If it underwent a second half life, that would give us 25%. If it underwent a third half life, it would give us 12.5%. And if it underwent a fourth half life which would give us a total of 22,920 years which means the final percentage is 6.25%. <laughs>an analysis of charcoal from a wood fire shows that its carbon content is 25% of that in living wood. How many years have passed since the wood for the fire was cut? So we know the unit we're working in is percentage and the initial percentage is always 100%. If it underwent one half life, that would be a total of 5,600 years and give us 50%. That would have to undergo a second half life, which would give us a total of 11,200 years, which will give us our final percentage of 25%. So the correct answer to this question is C, 11,200. This past paper question is from the National 5, 2019, written for B, part 2. Iodine-131 is a radioisotope with a half life of 8 days and can be used in the treatment of thyroid cancer. Calculate the percentage of iodine-131 that would have decayed after 24 days. So we start off with our initial percentage, which was 100%. 100% underwent one half-life, which would be a total of 8 days, which will give us 50%. This would undergo a second half-life, which would give us a total of 16 days and give us a percentage of 25%. This would have to undergo a third half-life to give us the total time frame of 24 days, which would give us a final percentage of 12.5%. However, this is the percentage that's left over. 
for us to calculate the percentage that decayed, we would do 100 minus 12.5, which would give us a percentage of 87.5%, which must have decayed. Thank you.